First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. Begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Seen in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. You have an activated pipe in which that produced this black chemical called melanin. We, what we did was gave a hard line in the sand between the different definitions of esoteric study and exoteric study. Playtime is over. Peace, peace, peace and love and honor to everyone and around the world and the human family around the world. This is Brother Fahim Rutan Il filling in for Dr. Asabo Alim Lutapak Il Bay. He's still on, on the road tonight and doing tours and giving lectures, so I'm filling in for him and Sister Kadira for tonight. And your our topic will be health and well-being. Yes, uh, dealing with uh, a lot of the a lot of our, the food we eat and a lot of some of us have a lot of self-destructive eating that we are off into that cause a lot of diseases among ourselves and amongst the people. And I want to touch on some of that tonight, and also some remedies uh, that may can help us as well to get rid of a lot of these diseases and sicknesses and things like that. Um, it's a, uh, a lot of the, a lot of us I know eat a lot of fast food. Uh, uh, going around here, eat like uh, Church's chicken and Burger King, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, on a daily basis, really. And really, it's not really uh, good for a lot of our blood pressure, cholesterol, and uh, for us. Uh, 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 any other ailments, uh, diabetes, uh, causes us a lot of uh, hypertension amongst us, especially among our, our Asiatic people, because we have not we are not dealing with the diet that we should be, or I shouldn't say diet, because that means to die, but our, our nutritional way of living and holistic eating that we should be off into. Uh, such as a lot of vegetables, raw vegetables, and the like. Uh, a lot of us eat a lot of fried substances, a lot of fried foods, 
not, uh, nothing wrong with fish per se, but a lot of us like to eat fried fishes uh, instead of uh, eating them at least baked, you know, if you're going to eat fish. Uh, it comes, uh, that comes from also with fasting. And number one is the breathing techniques that uh, Dr. Eileen has introduced us on the blog talk show off and on. And to, uh, because the breathing techniques are mostly really helpful to us uh, even though, even though uh, a lot of fasting and cleansing of the colon, of the colon system is is, uh, is good as, as also, uh, but I, I have to say that uh, I have to agree with Dr. Eileen that uh, the breathing techniques are the seventy percent of what we should be doing on a daily basis to clean out a lot of uh, toxins out of our bodies and the systems out of our bodies. And I say, like, right, 30 cent cleansing, uh, keeping colon, colon cleanses out and everything like that would be 30%. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know about a lot of uh, the chemtrails that they spread in the air, that they're spreading amongst the people that causes some of these sicknesses. And some of it is stress. And I say again, some of it is some poor eating habits or destructive eating habits that a lot of our pe- people are into. Uh, causes a lot of the diseases and sicknesses that's going on uh, around the world today, not just the uh, the Asiatic community, communities in um, uh, America, but all over the world. And uh, a lot of us are not eating enough vegetables, especially dark green vegetables, which are more health, healthy for us and easy to digest. Uh, a lot of us uh, like to eat a lot of corn, which is hard to digest, uh, believe it or not. But uh, when you di- it don't really digest when it goes through your system. Uh, if you just try to check it out, uh, just, just every day you go, uh, you know, have a bowel movement. Just check it out. A lot of those corn kernels are still there, even within your bowels. You know, um, a lot of that. You know, uh, uh, just check it out. You know. Uh, Things like uh, a lot of people like to eat a lot of popcorn uh, or uh, stuff like that, you know. But the kernels of the popcorn never digest in your system. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to read something from what they call the Moore's Heritage History School called Astrologics, the physical zodiac, the living temple, which is our body, the living temple. Because our temple is, uh, we have to take care of our temple. You know, we cannot abuse it. You know, uh, uh, this is a vessel that we have for temp- for temporarily of uh, of our time being on this physical and, and spiritual plane. Okay, all right. <coughs> okay. Often one often one wonders how the human body is associated with astrology. Astrologics is the study of the relationship and depicts the workings of nature. We are a product of nature, which is true. Uh, it, uh, the way the zodiac and the way uh, uh, the nature works in the universe is uh, connected to our uh, living temple. We're very connected to it. The moon, the sun. Uh, the planets, the stars, uh, you name it. So let me go on. You will find by examination the association is indicative, in, indicative of the birth of the body. Okay, you start with just the different zodiac signs, uh, which a lot of us are connected to, and which deals with a lot how our health operates, and how our body operates on a daily basis. Okay, let me go on. Starting with Aries. I am the head, which is the first to form when in the womb. That's the Aries, okay? Taurus, the neck and throat to support the head and prepare for expression vocally, parentheses sound. Okay, Gemini, or the Gemini twins, which is the Gemini actually is Haru and Aset, or 
So a lot of people know it in Greek terms as Horus and Isis. But in the Greek uh, terminology, on Greek uh, mythology, they had it as two males. A lot of that was to promote their homosexuality, which was part of their nature or, or culture. But that's not part of our culture, Asiatic culture or, or comedic culture. Okay, let me go on. <clears throat> Gemini, the epitome of expression, wherein it is necessary to have air flow from the lungs to create sound in the arms and hands connected to the shoulders or utilized for expression, parentheses, as in dance. Okay, now we go to the sign Cancer. The breast of whom were in you are nurtured. Okay. Go to Leo. The heart which circulates the blood that carries your DNA. The nucleus of physical existence. Okay. <coughs> Virgo. The intestines for processing. Parentheses and analyzing. Life substance. Food such as food, okay? Libra, the balance of the entire body, wherein the kidneys flush and circulate the waters. Scorpio, the elimination organs, or the rectum, and reproductive organs, both necessary for regeneration. Sagittarius, the hips, cavity of the lower calf, the lower half, sorry, and the thighs, which support and connect the lower animal self, thereby thereby always aspiring higher. Okay. Capricorn, the knees, which are utilized for climbing to re- reach goals. <clears throat> Aquarius, the ankles necessary to maintain diligent change of movement to the feet. Pisces. The feet, the pedestal of the body, tied to ground, grounding forces of the earth. The foundation support, if one cannot stand on their own two feet, they are not upright and remain unconscious. I am and I am not. Yes, stand on two feet, not on all, all fours like a beast. Because when you... Uh, uh, we are reduced to a beast-like nature, then you're not you're out of balance. When you stand upright on two feet, you're more in balance. Okay, here we go. Health, maintenance of the body. Modern and contemporary doctors often refer to themselves as practitioners. This is an admission that they are only practicing medicine, which is true. Uh, a lot of us, um, what I'm stressing, what they're stressing here and what I'm stressing, that most of us don't need doctors like we think we do. Now, uh, we still need doctors. Don't get me wrong. We still need physicians, but not like we think we do. For instance, I can give you an example of uh, uh, when I had diabetes. They had me on diabetes medications. For years, but all I had to do was change my life around, change a lot of my eating habits, and stop a lot of those self-destructive eating habits that I had in order to get rid of the diabetes disease that I had. Okay, uh, they had uh, gave me and uh, prescribed me a lot of medication, diabetic medications. I had stopped taking those medications. All I had to do, like I said before, change my life around, and that's what I've done. Twice they tested me for diabetes, and they saw that my sugar was at a normal level. And they, the doctors were really outdone. They asked me, how did I do that? How did, how did you do without the medication? They asked me, did you, did you take any of the medicines that I, I, I you know, prescribed for you? And I told them no. He wanted to know how that I invented to get rid of those diabetes, that diabetes. So I told him, I said, I changed my life around through exercise, uh, 
eating the right foods, uh, the right kind of eating habits, and stop a lot of the destructive eating habits that I had. So they took me off the medication. Get, I got rid of that. It can be done. It can be done. See, this is one of the remedies I, I uh, told you a little earlier that we have for you when you're dealing with diseases in our bodies. So let me go on. Our ancient Moabite ancestors were truly medicine men and medicine women as the new of and applied a working knowledge of the spiritual and physical anatomy of the natural person as manifested by the being's true astrological constitution or makeup. The use of this knowledge and the reflections involving its application is always important in all that we do. Therefore, keep in mind that reflections is the business of man. That was uh, that ter- that that uh, saying was by Prophet Noble Juwali. Okay. Once you have gained an understanding of the body parts, and not a and not a uh, not a mia as it relates to the zodiac, it is important to utilize the information when diagnosing health problems. The symptoms of a problem will reflect in the opposite body part where the cause really exists. This is the law of cause and effect in action. And that's uh, so true because a lot of your doctors, a lot of these hospitals, they do, they treat, you know, but they don't. They don't never. What you what you say have a remedy, or an, or an answer for your illness. They will treat the illness. Same thing for my diabetes. They were treating the illness. What I did. What I did was found a cure, and that was change my lifestyle around, and eat habits. That was the cure. That was the remedy. Okay, let me go on. However. This is not the way modern medicine deals with or treats or treats illness. That is so true. While many Western-influenced physicians and doctors are well aware of this ancient science, they have, they have, for political and economic reasons, chosen to ignore the laws of nature. Sure, they have chosen to, to, the law, uh, to uh, avoid the laws of nature. Why? Because... It, it does not benefit them economically. There's no, but you can say, federal notes to gain from that, or notes to gain from that. You know, that they can't gain any wealth or anything from that, so there's no, uh, uh, but, well, as you can say, no real economic progress in healthy people, only in unhealthy people. The hospitals across the country have gotten real wealthy off of people's diseases and sicknesses and ill health because it's big business. There's no real business in healthy people. They cannot profit from that. Only people who are unhealthy. Let me go on. Putting truth in a more simple form, the Eurocentric approach to the human condition is that they think that they are God and and that they can reinvent the wheel. Hmm. There are corporately groomed physicians who will usually give you drugs as a cure for the symptoms, but, but, but never approach a cure for the cause. Although it is known, although it is known, that's true, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't uh, cure my illness. I mean, the doctors didn't cure my illness. I did. And 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 so many ways, uh, a lot of us have to be our own physicians, our own doctors, and listen to a lot of the when our brother Eileen comes back on the video show. Listen to his a lot of his health advices because he is a metaphysical and he is a Reiki. Healer deals with a lot of diseases among the people, you know. 
seem to go on. If you if your heart if you have heart problems, your ankles will swell. Okay, uh, doing under the Leo sign. Let me repeat again. If you if you have heart problems, parentheses Leo, your han- your ankles will swell. Aquarius, Leo and Aquarius are polar opposites. You utilize this high culture, cosmo science method of, to determine the root of your ailments. Because the only way you can determine the root of uh, determine your ailments, uh, your ailments, you get to the uh, go to the root of the cause of it. You have to go to the root of the for as again, I can say by diabetes concern as concern, uh a lot of us are overweight and and that and if that's the cause of it, uh if you need to lose weight, lose that weight and see what will happen. That diabetes will disappear. A lot of your cholesterol problems will disappear. A lot of your high blood pressure problems will disappear. Believe me, been there, done that. Okay, here we go. Consider this. When you were born, you were in your mother's womb for nine months, wherein you received the creating influence of the heavenly bodies during the, during those seasons. seasons. There are three months, wherein you did not receive any influence. Parentheses, Solomon's temple is incomplete. Okay. Nine months subtracted from the 12, 12 12-month cycle of the 12 signs leaves three. Now pay attention. Those three remaining months, according to your particular sign, are the three signs in front of you or behind your conception date. Because you've got to go back to the day you were conceived. When the day when you conceive, then you, then you can figure out what you what to do next. All right. All right. Outside of the womb of heaven, mother, you will find you are are attracted to people of those three signs. This is because they have they have and possesses attributes that you don't have. To say, say like for instance, I was born on on March, okay, um, Aries, okay, <clears throat> so I was conceived <clears throat> back in July, in the July month, a later part of June, but I don't have the <clears throat> the April, May, or June. And, and and really, to uh, really be honest with you, I'm, I am mostly attracted to uh, to those signs, to those month signs, April, May, and June. Okay, let me go on. This is because they have and possess attributes that you don't have. Sometimes this can be a fatal attraction, and it has been. To compensate for this natural yearning, you can take the cellular tissue salts, that are assigned by nature to those months. There are only 12 cellular tissue salts that have been historically known as and referred to as the salts of the earth. They are exhausted. They are exalted during certain months of the year. There are also foods which are associated with each sign or month. Study of the herbs and foods of the earth being a Moorish scientist you can consume the right foods and herbs to receive the nutrients and salts that you need to com- to complete your anatomical constitution and make your make you stronger and healthy okay here we have family planning as stated earlier you did not receive the energies of the three astrology signs. However, if your parents or siblings are one of these signs, it helps to establish the necessary balance. 
premature child. If you have a premature child, then they would be given the additional cell salts to compensate for the time cycle of energy they did not receive while in the womb. You will find that most of your inherited health problems come from the lack of influences of the foodstuffs and cellular tissue salts of the sign that are the three, the three months in front of your birth sign. Daily consumption of those proper foodstuffs and or, or tissue salts taken as you would a vitamin will cure your inherited health problems. The more refined discussion of health as a subject matter is a book of another cover. See in the contained booklet a truth about your health. It lists the signs, the tissue salts, and the opposing or polar body parts. Uh, body parts. See more within the book, of the booklet, the oracle. It lists the signs, the tissue salts, and the foodstuffs of each month or sign of the zodiac. These and the salts of salvation present to the reader a spiritual ex- explanation of the human body constituents. Consider eating your way in, into good health, since we all must. Since since we all must do. Or, or we all must eat. I'll put it that way. Because most of us don't eat our way into in health. We eat our way into ill health. Because a lot of us uh, say, say certain foods taste so good, you know. And a lot of us eat for taste, you know, for all for pleasure. Which most of us, I have, I have to admit, does. We do, you know. I mean, let's face it. <clears throat> Don't uh, don't eat certain foods, not because it's good for us, because it tastes good for us, because it's a pleasure to us to eat. Okay? Here we go with the, with the zodiac signs again. Here we have Aries, head, Libra, okay? Because Aries need Libra. Cellular tissue, salt, Kali. Phosphoricum, potassium, phosphate. Okay, here we have Taurus, throat, Scorpio, cellular tissue salt, neutrum, serpotium, sodium sulfate, Gemini, shoulders, arms, terrius, cellular tissue salt, Cali, miraculum, potassium chloride, Cancer, chest, Capricorn, cellular tissue salt, calcium fluoride, Leo, heart, Aquarius, cellular, cellular tissue salt, magnesium, and phosphate, Virgo, stomach, Pisces, cellular tissue salt, Kali, Sopotrichum, potassium sulfate, Libra, kidneys, ovaries, Aries, Cellular tissue salt, natrium, phosphorum, sodium phosphate, Scorpio, genitals, rectum, torus, elimination organs, cellular tissue salt, calcium sulfate, Sagittarius, hips, thighs, Gemini, cellular tissue salt, silica, Capricorn, knees, legs, cancer, Cellular tissue salt, calcium phosphate. Aquarius, ankles, Leo. Cellular tissue salt, natrium, maracticum, sodium chloride. Pisces, feet, Virgo. Cellular tissue salt, ferrum, phosphoricum. <clears throat> Take three salts after your sign daily for health, healthier, for a healthier body. Cell salts are mineral constituents of the physical body to be taken for maintenance or when having ailments of specific body parts. Utilize the order of reflection or cause of effect. 180 polar reflections to diagnose. Whether, be, whether feeling discomfort is, is a system caused is the opposite body part. Okay.
dealing with a lot of, uh, a lot, like I say, a lot of our sickness comes from um, <clears throat> stress. A lot of us being stressed out about how we're going to pay our next bill, you know, or how we're going to pay a car note or a house note. Uh, dealing with a lot of uh, with the material world, which uh, which deals with the third dimension. A lot of us got to come out of the third dimension and come into the fourth and fifth dimension and beyond the dimensions, beyond those, if you're going to survive. And you've got to leave the third dimension behind. Uh, a lot of people may think that uh, all Asiatic people is going to the fourth and fifth dimension. That's not true. There are some people that's going to cling to this materialistic world. God, this is their God. And it has become the European's God. Although uh, there may be some, what you call, Tony Moors, uh, may make it to the fourth and fifth dimension, I don't know. Tony Moore meaning that Europeans heavily are with Moorish blood. Okay? Now, <clears throat> let me go on ahead. Book of the First World Order. Okay. You're dealing with the ozone layers. Okay, the ozone layer has been depleted by solar winds. This this may explain the reason why the various governments of the world are using chemtrails, as I spoke earlier. The military has stated that in part of a mass vaccination against terrorist airborne assaults, attacks. Nevertheless, chemtrails have been dropped on us since 1997 without the people's consent. This is six years before 9-1-1, September 11, 201, said terrorist attacks. Chemtrails have been scientifically analyzed and bacteria spores Aluminium, barium, thorium, zirconium, and other emissivity refractive metals and metals oxides have been found. Oxford winning investigative reporter Will Thomas have has reported findings over 300 types of virally mutated fungi, fungi mold and bacteria spores in the chemtrail fallout. Mm. Additionally, Dr. Steniger and Corjun and researcher Jan Smith have reported findings of self-replicating uh, nanomachines in rivers of silicon, silicone running wild through the bodies of the morgulose infected. Mm. Researchers cryptid Conocom has reported finding chemtrails, fibers, and abnormal mogolones diseases diseases as well. Interestingly, over 75 top leading world scientists have been killed or died mysteriously. Hmm. Read the book called Dead Scientists and Microbiologists. The list compiled by Mark J. Harper and now with the combined emerging. Soon pandemic, bird flu, swine flu, and human flu, making hiney parentheses, niggers one, Hispanics one, question mark. We can definitely suspect, suspect this is the reason for the mysterious deaths of the world's top scientists, 75 to be exact, thus far. Hmm. Those of you who remember, a lot of the 75 scientists has been murdered. I believe murdered, but they had mysteriously died in one or the same particular time time frame. Of course, I don't believe in coincidences, but uh, like I believe, I believe they were murdered. Foul play has been at hand there. Okay, stage one involves passing pathogens to weaken hum- humanity's collective immune system. Therefore, one needs to strengthen their defense immune system. Foods such as raw organic fruits must must have seeds as much as possible. 
and I would say it proceeds as much as possible because you see a lot of the uh, fruits that uh, that are in your grocery stores today, your seedless watermelons, your seedless even your, some of your oranges are seedless now, uh, uh, seedless grapes, and so on, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they don't have no life in, in them. If they have, if they don't have any seeds in them, then how are they growing these watermelons? How are they growing these certain oranges? How are they growing these grapes? If they don't have no seeds in them, good question. You know, but a lot of people they fall for the okie doke. They buy a lot of these seedless fruits and other things as well. Uh, a lot of these are organic, not organic foods. I'm, I'm, excuse me. A lot of these are what you call clone. They say clone watermelons and clone oranges and clone uh, clone of uh, of uh, grapes because they're a clone. They are not natural. As Dr. Eileen said one time, they're heterogeneous hybrids, as you can say. Okay, let me go on. Are, are the best? They are a snapshot of the of the sun. Uh, Incapsulated lemons. Freshly squeezed daily, red apple, cider, vinegar, drink daily, nuts, almonds, etc., seeds, pumpkin seeds, etc. Sea salt provides natural iodine, a pinch in the well water, alkaline water, or etc., a, a litter every morning before breakfast. And pure water, half of your body weight daily. Vegetables, stop eating meat or at least as much as possible. Do fish. If you have two, stop eating all white foods, such as sugar, flour, rice, bread, etc. Because uh, the reason why the white food, the bread, the reason why the bread is white because it is bleached. The reason why you have uh, a lot of white rice is because it is bleached. The sugar is bleached. It's not in its organic form. Okay? All right. It is not labeled, do not eat, genetically modified foods, such as seedless watermelons, seedless grapes, and certain seedless oranges, okay? <clears throat> there are foods produced from organisms in which the DNA has been altered in, in a way that does not occur naturally using biotechnology techniques, GMOs, Genetically uh, uh, modified altered food, okay, could could prove toxic or trigger allergic reactions. That the foreign genes could be transfer, transferred to the body body cells. Excuse me, to the body cells or to gastrointestinal tract bacteria, particularly genes that are resistant to antibiotics. Of the hundreds of thousands of products available to our nation's supermarkets, it is estimated that estimated that over 60% now contain genetically modified ingredients, <coughs> including oil from modified soy and canola and flour from modified soil and corn. Last year, 55% of the U.S. soybean crop were genetically modified varieties, as were well as were 35% of the corn crop. There are currently 46 GM crops in our food supply, including potatoes, tomatoes, sugar beets, squash, and papaya. Chances are you are already consuming GM foods on a daily basis. And you have no way of knowing. In 1992, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, ruled that there was no substantial difference between GM foods and conventional varieties. Varieties, and so, and so, no form of labeling was necessary. Likewise, it deemed that there, there was no need for human safety tests. Soy, maize, cotton, canola are the most popular to date, 
and are used in processed foods like cereals, cooking oils, and soups, among hundreds of other products. Since 1901, Monsanto has brought us Agent Orange PCBs, terminator seeds, and recombined milk, among other infamous products. The major players, Monsanto, DuPont, Dow, AgroSciences, Narvites, Inventis, AstraZeneca, and BaseCore, the United States is the world's leading producer of GM crops. Other major producers are Australia, Argentina, Canada, and China. Soon these same corporations plan on, bring, on bringing the public nanofoods, products made via the manipulation of molecules. The DNA that is the building block of life on our planet is being tinkered with. That's why some people call them Franken foods or Franken weenies, as you uh, <clears throat> heard about certain Franks and hot dogs, things like that. Franken this, Franken that. You know, especially in your cereal products. Okay, let me go on. Therefore, we do not see a need of genetic engineering. We are a need for more community-based farming. Nevertheless, benefits come from using various herbs such as golden seal, natural antibiotic, yellow dock, burdock, chaparral, natural antibiotic, myrrh, natural antibiotic, black walnut, get rid of poisons, toxins, bacteria, viruses, parasites, and worms, wormwood, red clover, Paul D. Arco, Echinacea, Dandelion, Melt Thistle, Ginkgo, Biloba, Astragalus, Sage, Garlic, Natural Antibiotic, Bee Pollen, Honey, Natural Tentative, Alloy, Ferox, Natural Laxative, Senna, Natural Laxative, Silicium seed, husk, natural laxative, bulk agent, get rid of poisons and toxins, citate, resh, mushrooms, hyssop, and St. John's wort. Also, vitamin A, B, complex C, D, and E, specifically, and, and, and minerals, iodine, zinc, calcium, and sodium. Specifically, all dos- all dosages need to be increased. Read the book Nutricide and African Holistic Health by Dr. Leala in Hotel O Africa. Also, the proper breath method would would be the three breaths in a minute. This breath, no disease can enter and affect the body. Increase exercise measurements such as. Qigong, Qigong, Tai Chi, Kundalini, Naga, Yoga, Tantric, Kriya, Yoga, Haga, Yoga, and etc. These chemtrails are part of a genocidal program to reduce the global population by up to 90%, says Ken Adachi, Educate, Educate Yourself Org. The Illuminati only wants 500,000 on the planet, maximum. Well, it's not up to what they want. It is up to what we want as a people. And we cannot let people plan our future for us. They'll start planning our own future for ourselves. <clears throat> and, be, and be masters of our own destiny. Okay? The point is that we are involving into organisms with 12 helixes in our DNA. Actually, 12 physical strands and 12 ethereal strands or 24 stranded beings rather than the standard two. Dr. Miranda Fox is currently working with children who only have three helices but are already tele- telepathic and can feel glasses of water just by looking at them. 
plainly, if this kind of thing continues, humanity will, will become too intelligent to fall for the power structure's tricks. Indigo, rainbow, and crystal children. And that is true. Because I was, looking, I was listening to one shirt uh, this brother was wearing, and he said that a man or woman that has knowledge of themselves is unfit to be a slave. And that's very true. And the reason why you're unfit to be a slave is you are beyond being controlled by another force or people. Okay. <clears throat> One of the best things being the best thing to do is arm yourself, argon generators, which are capable of neutralizing the evolution halting power of those chemtrails that fill our skies. Even so, we will no longer have the protection of the Van Allen, uh, Allen Belt, part of Earth's magnetic field, like we used to, have, used to. And for the first time in history, we are receiving Syrian energies from the, the deflecting mechanism when Earth descends, the etheric sirens, sirens will take our will take over as guardians of the planet Earth. The etheric sirens are found among the Elmurians or the Mennonites, the so-called black, brown, and red races of the Earth. You know what they're talking about? Talking about us. A lot of us calling ourselves black people of color, but we uh, we. We are talking actually of the Elmurians, Elmurians, of uh, the Melanites. But we are heavily melanated people, and a lot of the uh, medicines that have been administered to us by these certain doctors in these hospitals have destroyed a lot of the melanin in us. A lot of us, got, some of us, can't even take the sun like we used to. We are sun people, and when you see people talking about, "Ooh, the sun! I got to get under the shade," uh, I see a lot of that this summer. A lot of our people cannot take the sun, and we are supposed to be sun people, you know, Asiatic people, meaning earthbound people, people of the earth, Moors, tied to the, the earth land, are tied to this earth land, you know, Aboriginal indigenous people, you know, uh, uh, a lot of uh, have uh, begin to have skin cancers now, sunburns, you know, things unprecedented among Asiatic people. And the Asiatic populace of the earth. You know why? Because they're not dealing with these chemtrails and dealing with a lot of these medications that we shouldn't be taking for a lot of our ailments. Don't take me wrong. Some of the medication, uh, medications you have to take, but you don't have to take them as much as you think you do. As I said again earlier, we have to be our own scientists and our own doctors, the doctor on ourselves and science, and science up on ourselves where we don't have to be so dependent on medicines and these practitioners. The doctor, as the doctors say, I, I, am a, I practice medicine, and that's what they do. They practice medicine. They don't know medicine. They know the ancient healing techniques or the ancient art of healing, but that's not in their best of interest. It's not profitable. So they have really no use for it. Okay. Okay. These light beings or special high beings have have often come down with a massive amounts of positive energy and connections to reservoirs of positive energy in order to balance this plane of existence. Okay. If turn the page. If they do, if they did not do this, these dimension, this dimension would have been lost long ago, and the true real beings trapped in it would have succumbed totally to the lower usurper. Even so, all the Ethereans, like beings, projected by way of their individual 
or combined light vehicles called the Hamato Semitic dialect. <coughs> the what they call uh the what they call the Merka the Merkaba into the physical form to earth. We are not referring to in, any type of Nazi flying saucer, metal ships or crafts developed during World War Two and later enhanced under the auspices of the 13 psycho blood clans of the Columban Nazi governments as a ploy. Read Man-Made UFOs, 1944-1994, by Renato Vesco and David H- David Hatcher, Childress. One of our ancestors made flying vehicles, but that was to explore this earthly dimensions and vast regions, but they also taught the esoteric science of astro travel and projection, remote viewing, and the and the military, uh, materialization, materialization and Merkaba techniques. The problem is that most so-called scholars, such as Zachariah, Satch, David Ike, Jim Morris, William Blamley, Eric von Deniken, Robert Temple, even though they confess a mason, others are not initiated into the higher order and definitely not the highest order of the order of Matizadek. Haru Ma Kusutek. Therefore, they do not know or understand ancient metaphysics and thus they fell victim to mixing esoteric teachings and astrology and selling it as a literal historical truth. Also, many different types of entities who have never lived in the material world can be found on first and second overtones of the astral plane. For example, fairies, elves, genies, divas, gnomes, and even so-called extraterrestrial reptilians, exetoids, etc. They have collectively, collectively populated our human imagination. Therefore, they exist on the astral plane because we have conjured them into existence by envisioning them through a myriad of fables, fable stories, and or folk tales, thus giving each of them a life of its very own. It is explained that that everything that we think of or imagine is instantly made up on the astral plane as, as is for real as as for real, we have imagined to be what happens after death by Majin Gonzalez Whippier. Okay. However, there are ancient books, tablets, and scrolls that have been written on prehistoric aircraft developed by human. The Hamabarada. One of the oldest books on, on, in the world, written by Tamal, the Dravidians, and the ancient Kama'atu. Egyptian people speak of an aerial chariot with sides of iron, clad in wings, airplane. In the Ramayana, it describes Vamana, air, air, airship, as a double deck, circular aircraft with portholes and a dome. It flew the speed of the wind and produced melodious sound. Okay. <clears throat> yes, the uh the then the back to the real the health problems here, uh like I said before, it deals with a lot of our eating habits, destructive eating habits, it deals with a lot of stress. Uh <clears throat> Dealing with uh, certain uh, the bills we can't, we don't think we can pay. You never pay them anyway, because you never had, never made any money. <clears throat> if you can get that into your head, you know that these these what you call notes or Federal Reserve notes, which is actually what they are, actually it's not money. And don't let that worry you to the point that it causes ill health among ourselves and loved ones because that's exactly what has been happening amongst our people and amongst the people 
in general, if you, if you, you know, we might as well say, uh, take the certain waters that we drink. Uh, if you can, you can want to like find or the grocery store find you a water uh, purifier, or <clears throat> uh, that that can uh, purify the water, uh, or a water uh, what you call yeah, put in the pitcher, and it may be purify maybe about ninety percent of the drinking water that you drink, or they have what you call call zero water, where they can uh, cure. That's what, well, that's, this is what they're saying. They can cure 100%. Where well, you can drink 100% of, of a pure drink of water. I mean, this is for your health, all of our health, you know. Uh, I believe in, uh, they say, well, it's too expensive. It's, it's too, uh, well, uh, so is uh, hospital bills, you know. So which one do you want to do? You want to spend a lot of uh, so-called money on hospital bills, or you want to spend uh, a lot of so-called money on, on improving your health and well-being? That is the question for all of us and a lot of us. A lot of us, um, the drinking water, a lot of us find uh, found out uh, a lot of the fluoride and uh us put into these waters to purify the water, the drinking water in the cities, different cities around the country. A lot of that fluoride is used also for rat poison. You take like Kool-Aid, the same thing as abrasive. You don't believe me, it's not an abrasive. Get, get you a good pack of Kool-Aid when you when you get through taking the bath in the bathtub. And just 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 shake it and spray it all over the bathtub. Run some hot water in there and get you a sponge. It'll make an ass out of Comet. Clean that bathtub right up. But that's what you're drinking. But you're drinking Kool-Aid. Okay. Another thing, uh, uh, Different. Uh, it can be numerous of things. Uh, different deodorants that you use. Uh, a lot of the roll-ons uh, dealing with uh, <clears throat> that are so thick that they clog up your uh, pores under your arms, where your arms can't get the the, the, the natural or <clears throat> the natural or uh, what to say. Uh, Hmm. Circulation, or the air comes in out of the pores like it should. There's a lot of things, numerous of things. Uh, a lot of these uh, certain uh, foods that you have a lot of uh, are genetically modified uh, altered alter foods, such as uh, you, like your soups. A lot of these uh, one is called the noodles, uh, but it's called ramen noodles. I think they call it. yeah. This is other genetic reaction. Uh, the ramen noodles has a lot of uh, what you call I forget the what is the chemical they put in there. Mm. It's um. Mm. I don't have anybody on this show to help me out. But I can't think of it right now, which is not good for you. Uh, but a lot of us say, well, I don't have enough money, so-called money. Uh, we got to eat what we eat, you know. But I, 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 like I say again, you know, I, I'd rather just spend up the so-called money and improve my health and my well-being. That's more important to me, you know, than anything. You know, uh, there's nothing as important as good health and well-being. It's more important than so-called wealth or so-called money. It's more important than anything in the world. It's good health. Um, a lot of you notice that when it rains a lot of times, uh, they talk about uh, this acid rain that the people used to do. Those you will remember, remember they had acid rain. That also came from the chemtrails. 
symptoms that they're spreading in the skies. Causes a lot of diseases amongst the people on the planet. Like I've been said before, in the first world order book, that they wanted to be uh, the population be down to five hundred thousand at max, at maximum, five hundred thousand. No, but like I said, it's not up to them, it's up to us. We can change all that. It's up to we, the people. It's up to us to change things around the world. You hear people on television talking about uh, the give to certain programs across the world for people that are starving. Of course, you know, different nations of the African continent and parts of Asia, and Panama, the South American Americas, and then Johnny Islands, you know, they are, but a lot of these so-called rich people, they can start stop this overnight if they wanted to. This is happening by design, not by coincidence. A lot of people like to pick a lot of your sodas, Especially your diet sodas, which are uh, uh, heavily, you know, are modified as well. You know, they're dealing with a lot of saccharin, uh, 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 the modified sugar in, in, uh, they're putting into it, uh, which is 200 times more potent than the sugar itself. Your high, to, uh, high fructose corn syrup. Uh, and all of that, you might as well drink the regular soda than a diet, Pepsi or Seven Up, whatever. And then people wonder why they still have diabetes. When they say, "Well, I drink diet soda. I, I don't remember diet soda. I don't drink that." Well, that's why you still have diabetes. You still have them because you have not, you have not revolutionized. Your eating habits. You have not changed your life around. You're still eating the self. You're still, you're still doing those self, the, uh, those same self-destructive life, uh, dealing with those self-destructive lifestyles that you've been dealing with with most of your lives. Hamburgers, hot dogs, fried pork chops, chitlins. Let's not forget the chitlins now. High, very high in cholesterol, which is not part of our uh, uh, a lot of of our, of our, of our, of our part of our uh, just the so-called diet of Asiatic people. You cannot put anything into our temple, and, the, and it's not fit for our people to eat. But nevertheless, we eat them on a large, massive scale. That's why a lot of our people uh, have a lot of ill health and diseases on a large, massive scale. Not taking care of our health like we should, because we've been so in all our lives, all, all of our lives, we've been so engineered to, to believe that that this is the way we should live. Smoking habits, you know, uh, smoking, which is the rotting of the gums and teeth of the lungs and chest, cause a lot of cancer, heart diseases, you name it. Throat cancer, any any all kind of cancer. And some even they say it comes from second hand smoking. That's why I stand away from people when they smoke on a bus stop. Or in certain areas, in public areas, stand away from them because the secondhand smoking become more dangerous than the than the, uh, the actual smoking itself. They say stay away from uh, uh, white bread. White bread, yeah, because like I said earlier, because it is bleached. What you want is the 100% grain, whole wheat. You want the 100% grain brown rice. 
any of you any of you that been to the Orient or uh, uh, places like Vietnam, uh, Thailand, or even Japan, Okinawa, or Korea, you see that most of their rice is brown, not white. Same thing with your sugar can canes that you see in certain islands of uh, the Pacific, on uh, 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 especially Hawaii. The sugar is brown, not white. Like I said before, I said earlier, they've been bleached. They've been bleached out, and not in its organic or original form. A lot of our ancient foremothers and forefathers ate organic foods, foods in its original form, because we are the original inhabitants of the uh, of this earth land. We are the uh, aboriginal indigenous Asiatic people of this earth land. Therefore, we must live and come back to the minds of our ancient foremothers and forefathers. We're doing a lot of things that's not in our nature, that shouldn't be out, but it's outside of our nature. This is the problem we're having today. People eating like hog moths, oxtails, oxtail stew, uh, 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 ill, uh, uh, man, you name it. Pork chops, polar sausages. I mean, you know, uh, you can say uh, eating death for dinner, because that's exactly what you, a lot of us are doing, eating death for dinner. And destruction, death and destruction for dinner, as I may add. Not taking of our health as we should. We have to start being our own uh, uh, so-called, I use the word so-called, uh, dietary, dietary, you know. Uh, I, don't like, I don't like using that word because that did with the word die. So using our own nutritional uh, uh Health, nutritional health, uh, uh, getting off the all nutritional health, health activities. Dealing with such as, uh, let's say, fish, uh, vegetables, uh, dark green vegetables, if, if you can. Uh, a lot of our uh, Holistic health, health advice, advice would advise you to do a lot of uh, uh, cleansing, cleansing of the colon. Uh, but, the, but as I said earlier, we have to start doing a lot of our breathing exercise. As Eileen has suggested in some, some of the blog talk issues in his lectures, that is seventy five is a seventy to seventy five percent of the healing techniques we can use to heal ourselves. I mean, uh find like a park or area where quiet, preferably in the morning. We can do it in time of the day, but preferably in the morning. You do your breathing exercises. You can uh breathe to the left nostril nostril. Uh, uh, hold hold the, uh, the finger at the right nostril, hold it in for a certain amount of uh, seconds, then breathe out through the right nostril. Do you can do this? Uh, I could say maybe for 20 or 25 minutes or more. You can do in the uh, the OM, the L O M, or the OM. You can come in. You can breathe in like. You breathe in through your nose and feel your lower abdomen. Like you breathe in. Oh. I'll do it again. Oh. 
Now, what that does, that can regulate a lot of your blood pressure. Those of you who have high blood pressure and things like that, that can bring your blood pressure to a normal uh, level. Own comes from when the word soul I'm on. Soul is the uh the Moorish Latin uh, word for son. Om is the Hindu word or Sanskrit word. It's a Sanskrit word for light. Om in Egyptian or the Moorish Kemetic term. It's on for light. Because when we come in the dark room, you switch switch on the switch, the light comes on. And that's where the word on comes from, believe it or not. There's different uh, breathing techniques we can have to, uh, to perfect our health, to improve our health. To have more health improvements from a lot of our ill health we have amongst ourselves. Uh, uh, one is AUM. Uh, you get to a what you call a tuner, uh, like a whistleblower tuner that we would use for music to set the tone. How you doing your uh, and how you doing your breathing techniques. You have the AU, the AUM, you have the U, you have the the uh you have the uh, sound. Many you can use to deal with the pineal gland as well. You can uh, like again, like again, going back to a lot of our eating habits, uh we need to drink more water. More purified water, that is alkaline. You can get on or the online and deal with a lot of uh, <clears throat> uh, brother Dr. Eileen, uh Bay dot com. Get with him and see about uh, purchasing a lot of alkaline water from him, or you can go to Brother Panic. I believe I believe he does <clears throat> sell a lot of alkaline water himself, or he knows someone that does. Start back to getting our our health back in order, and come back to the you know to the mind frame of our ancient foremothers and fathers. So I, I can't cue anybody in because I do not have a. Uh, I don't have the equipment, the necessary equipment to do that. Uh, by this time, I would have keep some people in for their comments and things like that. But uh, let me go on. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of us need to uh, deal with a lot of vitamin A, C, D, E, uh, D, uh, dealing with those type of vitamins will really enhance us to, uh, to really become a more of a healthier people. Along with the breathing techniques, uh, <clears throat> breathing techniques, and the more of a better eating habits. Uh, dealing with uh, even in, the, in our shower when we take showers, we can, can uh, put in a certain purifier on the shower which can purify our water, where our water won't be so hard when it rounds down our bodies. Not special kind of use not special kind of soaps, but soaps we should be using. Like the soaps uh not uh the so called black soaps, uh that's more better for our skin. Uh like they say they're more expensive, but as I said before, well, it's worth it when it comes to our better health. Dealing with, I'm going to read something here. Let me see here. It's 
called, according to the field of psychology, that's dealing with mental health as well as physical health. He is the fifth delta, data, which is associ- associated with deep, dreamless sleep. During the course of a night's sleep, you go through all of the four basic states of consciousness and cycles. You go from waking to half-waking reflection, then into deep sleep, then into dream, then back into waking for a brief moment. Too groggy, reflecting again, deep sleep, then dream again. I'm going to stop right here. <clears throat> most of us, what most of us don't know, when we dream a lot, we really don't sleep fitfully because you're not really sound asleep. You're half asleep and you're almost about half conscious, but you're dealing with the subconscious mind or some conscious world, I should say. I decided uh, decided I'll put that out there. Okay. Let me see. You go from walking to half waking, reflecting deep into deep sleep, then into, I I said it before, this cycle repeats five times in an eight hour sleep period. In each cycle, the REM stage grows progressive, progressively longer. If you live to be 75 year old, years old, you will spend one-third of your life, uh, approximately 20, 220,000 hours sleeping in a 75-year lifespan. Why? One reason is that the body regenerates itself during sleep. And another, according to the ancients, sleep is the sister cousin of death. If this is true, then sleep itself or the dream world is but a preparation stage to the ethereal or astral life after physical death. The neocortex evolved is foretold, verifiable by the four brain currents found in the eye of Haru. Or, or some people say Horus. When it travels from the base root, when it travels from the base root, it extends to the sacral <clears throat> interpersonal consciousness, ego, spiritual, lower self, navel, intrapersonal consciousness. Three, solar plexus, life, self, collective consciousness. Four, heart, subconsciousness, altered state, inner heart. Five, throat, superconsciousness. Six, first, third eye, magnetic consciousness. Seven, crown, infinite, quantum consciousness, or collective of unconsciousness, soul, higher self, data, delta, data state. All right. Okay. Intrapersonal consciousness means aware of one's associations. Life consciousness means aware of one's existence, sensations, and environment, capable of thought, will of perception. It is responsible for collecting information, storing information, and memory, making a rational decisions, and causing deliberate behavior. A, per- a person has the tendency to relate to objects in this apparent reality as completely solid. However, the truth of the matter is that everything is light energy. Matter is nothing more than dense light. Slow down, that is, crystallize. The consciousness of the average person actualizes this holographile illusion as reality, and it is APR apparent perceptive reality every seven-tenth of a second. Underlying awareness, it accepts the messages it receives, a true whether or not they are based on actual facts. It is responsible for regulating body functions such as breathing, memory, management, goal-seeking, creativity, and automatic behavior. 
The reptilian brain controls this portion of the psyche called the involuntary system. And we have the superconsciousness, means being more or beyond time and space, that which is apparent to the so-called five senses, actually only one sense, feel, touch. The so-called senses exist within the limitations with no means of escape. We have note here, parentheses, in terms of human consciousness. It is shaped like a cube. If a person would take the cube and the egg, shape your sphere and fit it around the human body and calculate calculate the size of differences, but you can tell exactly where a person is at in his consciousness. The mind becomes open and the practitioner, yogic, acquires various miraculous powers, cities. They are called HS higher sensory perceptions, oftentimes referred to as ESP, extrasensory perceptions. Here are the various modes of cognition. Parentheses. Read the Holy Bible New Testament. Corinthians 1, 12, 1, 11. On the spirit and the spiritual gifts, receive the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the Holy Spirit, Kundalini, or love God, is love, is the extender. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we go dealing with the uh psycho psychometry or psychometry. The ability of touching a physical object and identifying a person by their aura, energy residue, through waves and was differently left behind. Alchemy. Internal and external. External. The chief aim is the convo- the conversion of Lead, root base, chakra, tation, the ability to rise in the air, and an apparent defiance of gravity. Okay. Mm. Well, that's all I have to say about that. As dealing with. Uh, dealing with consciousness and the brain and everything. I'll probably get it on that another subject at another time. Um, hopefully, uh, maybe Dr. Darlene will be back on the show. If not, I will be here with another topic. So all of you, uh, I hope that you enjoy the lecture. I do my best, as always. I'm not on the level of Dr. Eileen, you know. I'm not on not, not on uh, that, that level yet, but I do my best as I can and try to bring the truth and the light to the people, to the human family, not, not just here in the North American continent, but uh, Panama and the Central America and South America and the adjoining islands and all over the world. So I'm about to sound off this night. And as I say in peace to you, assalamu alaikum, peace unto you, shalom, the, peace of spe- the people that speak in the Hebrew tongue. And uh, uh, so I'm going to say to you, peace, love, and honor to you all. Good night.